Today we're going to examine the contents of the Zacian V League Battle Deck. Hello everyone and welcome to the Poker Quest. Quest, we believe that classic is an adventure and adventure more fun. We share with others, hit the subscribe button down below to become part of our adventuring party. Today, as we always do, um, our goal on this channel is to open one of every product that is released, and that includes the League Battle Decks. Now this is the Zacian V League Battle Deck, and I want to sneeze. <laughs> Whew, there we go. The Zacian V League Battle Deck. Um, this has been uh, really um, highly anticipated by a lot of people. Uh, mostly because Zacian V is one of the best decks in the format. Um, and for them to come out with a, the off-the-shelf product that is uh, highly competitive uh, is really kind of exciting um, for the playability of the game. Uh, and then it's kind of cool for collectors to come look at this products and decide, uh, you know, I, I, we, we thought at one point that the last League Battle Deck's going to be a good long-term investment. They flew off the shelves real fast. And now they're back on the shelves and they're just, they're, they're printing plenty of them. Um, but again, once these sets kind of rotate out, the, these, these, decks are irrelevant for for standard tournament play so the question then becomes do you hold on to these sealed because they're a cool looking product especially this one i love the colors of the box um i don't know i mean there's there's something to be said about the cards that are inside uh are, is there anything you know if you piecemeal it together is it worth the retail price um is, is there any sort of uh, flippability or investability in this uh i'm not going to answer those questions i want to see what's inside so let's open it back let's open it up we assume um it's going to be very similar uh to the other uh products in terms of like having all the necessities um that you need to uh to play um and, and to my dismay as as they always have um okay so you get a full i forget this yes you get a full rules book uh kind of some of the the major rules um you get a league battle deck uh, guide. Devastate your opponents. Um, so really, this is cool. So this is like how, like some quick chart guides on how to play this particular deck, uh, and then some ways that you can uh, swap cards out um, with other cards that would make it even better deck. So uh, th this is not the best deck. I mean, clearly they they've neutered it a little bit to ensure that uh, not everybody's just buying this and winning. Um, and to ensure they have people go buy packs. So uh, right off the bat, you get two Zacian Vs. Um, this is the uh, Zacian V from Sword and Shield. Nothing really um, unique or special about this card. Uh, to my knowledge, and I'll double check, but to my knowledge, not an alternate art. I don't recall. Um, they, they would indicate that on there anyway. So, uh, And then you get the uh, the RCS Dialogue and Palkia GX. Um, again, from Cosmic Eclipse. Not an alternate art, just you know, right out. You could pull this from a pack. This could be an ultra rare pull that you get in one out of every five packs, or you can buy this product. Um, you get dice uh, that are themed to this deck, uh, damage counters, and then a die you can use uh, for coin flips. You get a Tag Team GX acrylic token, and you get acrylic burn marker and acrylic um, poison token, something you don't get in the starter decks. In starter decks, you get um, you know, punch board products, paper product. Um, and then you get a code card to have this deck online, uh, which is really cool. Um, so then you get the Zacian V deck. So let's see what kind of cards are inside here. And if there's anything um, that's, you know, I don't say, I mean, I guess unique. Are there any alternate arts in here that uh, would be worth noting for someone who is a collector, um, a completionist collector? Uh, so let's see what kind of trainers we get. Malo and Lana, Guzma and Hala. These are great trainers from this, from these sets. Quick ball. Professor's Research, non-holo version, of course. You see this Professor's Research in all sorts of starter decks and pre-release boxes. Um, the holo, the pull from the pack is a holo card. So if you do not have a non-holo Professor's Research and you want one of every type of printing of a card, uh, you know what? Get with one. They're they're easy to find. Uh, Metal Saucer. Hey, this one. So this this does have the Jirachi, the non-holo Jirachis uh, inside, um, which is. Uh, you know, still a very valuable and relevant card um, in the metagame. Marnie, non-holo. Um, so here's another non-holo variant of a card. Boss's Orders. I believe uh, this is a holo in the sets. Yeah. Um, so this is the first time I've seen a non-holo Boss's Orders. So something to keep in mind um, as you're looking through these cards uh, and looking for, um, you know, if you have that Completions Collector inside you and you want one of every printing of a card, 
non-hollow and hollow variants alike. We get two Jirachis. There's another Marnie. Metal Energy. Orangaru. I do not know. I can't remember. I don't think this is hollow in the set. I'm going to double check, but pretty sure that's uh, the standard printing. Metal Saucer. Professor's Research. Metal Energy. Viridian Forest. Water Energy. Great Catcher. That is great. Switch. Ordinary Rod. Scoop Up Net. Metal Energy. Quick Ball. Marnie. Another non holo Jirachi. Energy Switch. Energy. Ah, this is cool. Mewtwo from Bur uh, blah, 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 blah. Unbroken Bonds. I don't think that's a non holo print, but again, I will double check and uh, let you know in the, the feeder at the bottom as I am looking at these for the first time myself, and my recollection is not always that great. There's another Orangaru, another non holo Boss's Orders, non holo Marnie, Switch. Metal Energy, Energy Switch, Aurora Energy, there's a, your fourth Jirachi, Quick Ball, Scoop of Net, Metal Saucer, and Professor's Research. So all in all, pretty cool deck. Um, so, you know, the, the, the high value targets in here, Jirachi, non hollow doesn't pull as much uh, financially as a hollow version does, but a great card um, from a playability standpoint. And like I said, this is the first time I've seen a non hollow boss's orders. Um, may not be the first time it's been printed, but it's the first time I recall seeing it. Uh, and then, again, two copies of Saucy V and one of RCS Dialga and Palkia GX. So, pretty cool. If you're looking to uh, to jump into the Pokemon card trade, cake trading card game um, as a player, you're familiar with Poke you're familiar with card games and how they're played, um, and just need, you know, a little bit of education on Pokemon card game. This is a great product to get to learn not only how to play, but have something that's competitive. You could take this, you could buy this off the shelf and you could jump into a tournament and not do poorly as long as you knew what you were doing. So, um, so pretty cool product. I love these and uh, I'll continue to buy them uh, to look to see what's inside to see what can be exciting for the Collegius Collector and I'll let you guys know what you can find inside the box. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content just like this. Check out this video right over here or just look at my set collection progress on the left. Remember that collecting is an adventure and adventures are more fun when you share them with others. I'll see you again next time.